This is the Holy Land Mars 4K, and it might be the coolest piece of tech in cinema. Let me explain. What's up nerds and welcome back to the channel. There are so many pieces of tech and cinema gear on a film set. And most essential would probably be the camera, the lens, the lighting, the audio, JJ Abrams, and many, many more. Because there's a lot of pieces of essential tech when it comes to making a feature film. But there's one piece of tech that not a lot of people talk about, but it's seen on a lot of professional film sets. And that's a wireless video transmission system. Now it might seem boring, but these can make working on a set so much easier. Before I get into the video, Hollyland did send me this transmission kit to review and make a video about, but no money changed hands and they don't get to review this video before it goes out. So rest assured, my words are my own and this will be an honest review. So how a wireless video transmission system works is by taking a transmitter and connecting it to a camera via HDMI or SDI, which then transmits an image from the transmitter to a receiver that's then connected to a monitor of some sort. Or another really cool feature that we'll talk about later is connecting these to a tablet or smartphone via Wi-Fi. So essentially this allows you to watch what's being shot on the camera in real time from several feet away to several yards away on a separate monitor, allowing like the director, the first AC or the producer or a client to view what's being shot on the camera and review it in real time. This can save tons of time in post-production by reducing the risk of having to do reshoots. Now, Hollyland isn't the only brand making cool tech like this. In fact, the most common that you'll probably see on bigger film sets is Teradek. But typically, a Teradek system will cost you several thousand dollars for a high-end system. And granted, they do a really good job, and that's why they're an industry standard. But when it comes to budget or indie filmmaking, Hollyland has definitely stepped into that realm. This this kit will run you about 700 US dollars and that will give you the transmitter, the receiver, and give you everything you need to get started. They also have a monitor that acts as a 5 inch 4K monitor and receiver or transmitter if you want to and that system is about $550 so still in that budget realm comparatively to small HD or Teradek. So because of those high prices a lot of times on indie filmmaking sets or commercial sets a Teradek transmission system will be rented and one of the risks that comes with this is that when budgets start to get tight, that Teradek transmission system is one of the first things to get cut. And then you show up on set and your AC or director or whatever is like, where's my wireless video feed? So being able to own your own transmission set, like the Holly Land transmission set for $700, which is significantly less than a Teradek set, is a good backup when the budget gets cut for a Teradek transmission system. So owning this type of gear can be helpful on a number of occasions, given that the competition is several thousand dollars. When you could just easily pick up this set for $700. And in my opinion, that's pretty awesome. But the real question is, are they worth the price? Let's test it. All right, so to test out how far these transmitters can transmit an image, receive it, and have a good signal, we're here at a very large park in the middle of the state I live in my mental state. But anyway, so I'm gonna hook up the transmitter to this current camera right here, and then we'll take our receiver and go as far as we can. These are rated to reach 450 feet, which is pretty dang far. I would assume that we can maybe max that out here, and that's without obstructions. So we make sure that there's no buildings in the middle. All right, to set this up, we're gonna put our transmitter directly onto the camera. I have a little monitor mount right here that we're just gonna screw the transmitter directly onto, and then plug it in via our HDMI port, which is just on this opposite side. We also need a battery, so we'll attach that. It does take L-series batteries, like I mentioned earlier, probably. So we'll just attach the HDMI right into the side. You can also use SDI or USB-C. On top of that, you can also power it via the DC cable that I've got right here. So we don't even need to use this battery, but we can keep it as a safety to hop swap if we want to. All right, so for the receiver side of things, we have a monitor right here and we're going to attach our receiver to our monitor. So you have the L-series battery adapter right here. Philworld's monitor has the ability to attach that backside to the monitor. And then you can just have one battery powering both your monitor and the transmitter. All right, so we'll just attach our HDMI into there as well and put it into our HDMI in. So this whole package being super compact, you've got your battery powering both the receiver and your monitor so that you don't have to have multiple batteries, but you could also power this via USB-C. 
um, using a V-mount battery or something like that if you wanted to. But I really like this setup. Once we've plugged both of our devices in and had them powered up, we're going to link both of the devices. I'll show this in B-roll a little bit, but you'll use the menu system on the actual receiver and transmitter to connect both of the devices together. And then you will receive a signal once they're connected. All right, so once we have the transmitter and receiver connected, you'll see that we now have a video feed. And now we can look at our video feed and I can see myself in front of this camera right now. I'm talking. So the system is rated for 450 feet, which is pretty dang far. And I think we might be able to exceed that at this park. So we're gonna walk as far as we can and see if we can still have a signal. You can see on the Google Maps how far we are. I'd probably guess we're 50 feet now, maybe 75 feet. We're gonna keep going. Let's see when we feel like we're 100 feet. I think we're 100 now, maybe. See if I can measure it. Still have a super clean signal. I can still see it nice and clear right there. Looks super good. This is a Wi-Fi connection, so it's not gonna be as powerful as some radio connections. We are pretty far away from the city, so there's not that many people here on their phones. So we may not have as much interference as you would in some places like in a mall or something like that. But in this situation, we can still get a decent measurement. So I'd say right now, we are probably, what, 200 feet? We'll see what Google Maps says, but we're a little more than halfway that we can get with this park, so we'll keep going. Still have a super strong signal. Okay, so we're well over 200 feet now for sure, but let's see if we can go a little bit further. Oh dude, we can't get, <laughs> we're stuck. We, 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 got to we would cross the river, but we can't. We are as far as we can get. There is a river right here. We can't go any further. I would probably assume we're about 400 feet away, maybe 450. We'll see what Google Maps says. Seriously, no dropouts. That's really impressive. This is Teradek quality. And again, if you're on a production set, you're pulling focus or something like that, you're never gonna have to be this far away unless you're on a super production set where they're filming in another city or something. And I don't know, maybe, but I really can't imagine you would need to be this far away. Really impressive. Let's go back to the camera now. Ah, this is definitely more than a football field, dude. All right. We've tested the distance. We've tested how far you could go. Way further than you'll ever need. Really impressive system. Let's go back to the studio. One of the biggest concerns with systems like this is latency. And I'll be straight up with you, these do have a little bit of latency to the point that I did notice it. They're rated for a 0 0.06 second latency. And for some people that may not be a big deal and for others, it might be a really big deal. Personally, as a first AC, or a person that's going to be pulling focus, that latency isn't big enough in my opinion to make a really big difference. It would be noticeable to me, but I don't think it would bug me or ruin my performance. And when you're a director or producer watching the video feed from 100 yards away, that latency may not be as big of a deal. So I think it comes down to your personal opinion and what you think is the best rating for latency. But yes, there is a latency on here and it's 0 0.06 seconds. To transmit your image onto a mobile device, you'll need to download the Holly View app. Once your transmitter is on and you're in the app, it will prompt you to connect to the Wi-Fi. It'll have the Wi-Fi name and the default password. Then go to your settings, find the associated Wi-Fi, and type in the default password. This will just be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once that's connected, you'll open up the Hollyland app again and hit connect from the main page. You'll then get a direct feed from your camera where you'll be able to view waveforms, histograms, false color, focus peaking, zebras, and a lot of other tools that you'll see on high-end monitors. I know he just talks about latency, and while using the app, the latency seemed to be a lot better than using the direct transmitter to receiver connection. I'm not sure why this is, but the YouTube channel Epic Light Media had the same result. But this app is super high end. You can have it connected to an iPad, an iPhone, or Android devices. It's really simple and user intuitive. One of the better experiences I've had with monitoring apps in a long time. So overall, when we're talking about build quality, I think these are well worth $700. Over the time that I've used these, I've had them for over a month now and I've put them through their paces. I've had them on different film sets. I've had it on my rig and it has had a couple of scuffs show up. You can kind of see it right there. And so the paint is going to scuff, but as far as the build quality, they're fully made of metal other than your actual antennas here that are made of plastic, but everything else is fully metallic. So they're going to withstand the test of time. So 
There was one issue though. While I was making this video, I put these in my hard case to travel with. And you can see the on off switch is right there. And this is the receiver. But on my transmitter, that on off switch ended up breaking off while it was in my Pelican case. I was able to fix it and still use it by taking a pen and putting it into the on position at all times. But that means that when I put a battery in, it turns on. When I take the battery off, it turns off. So I did email Hollyland about this a couple of weeks ago and I haven't received a response. But I'll try to keep you updated if they do end up emailing me back. I'm gonna try and contact them in some other ways, maybe through Instagram or YouTube, something like that. But I am glad I was able to switch it to that on position so I can still use the transmitter even though the on off switch did break on me. And that on off switch is plastic. I think if Holly Lamb wanted to take some internal feedback, probably changing that to a button or just making the switch a little stronger. Cause I know a lot of people are gonna be tossing these in their Pelican case, not really worrying about the build quality. So they've gotta be sturdy and well built because people are gonna beat the crap out of these. And for me, I was being gentle with my case and it still broke. So maybe that's just something to keep in mind when you do buy this is maybe put them in a separate case from your Pelican. But overall, my recommendation for the system is this. If you're wanting a way for your client, director, first AC, yourself to view the image that is being shot in the moment with any camera that you're using, then I think this is a fantastic system. Now, I know there's going to be a fair amount of people that are going to say, I'm a diehard Teradac fan. I'm never leaving. And I think that's great. But what I would recommend is keeping this as a backup kit. If that's something that you, that you can justify affording and still renting your Teradex system, or if you own a Teradex system, it doesn't hurt to have a backup just in case. Maybe you wanna send it to another feed, or maybe your Teradex system isn't working for some reason. This can be a really good backup for not a lot of money. But really, you can take that with a grain of salt. You do you. So if that says anything, links are in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Those are affiliate links, so I will make money if you do decide to purchase the Hollyland transmission system. If you do, thank you for supporting the channel. It means a lot. Also, we just passed 12,000 subscribers. Guys, this is nuts and super exciting. I've got a lot of really cool tech on the way, including whatever's in this box. Make sure to stick around and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you never miss out on new young filmmaker content. Good luck filmmaking.